Today's election news. In the last presidential election debate broadcast live by Iran's state-run television yesterday, President Ahmadinejad and former Guards Corps Commander Mohsen Rezaei focus on the state of the economy in Iran and avoid arguing over controversial issues to do with Iran's foreign policy, citizens' rights, or civil society. Ahmadinejad began by criticizing the remarks of his rivals, Mir Hussein Mousavi and Mehdi Karoubi, who yesterday called him a liar and dismissed the statistics offered by him on the rate of inflation as incorrect. Ahmadinejad said that these criticisms were tantamount to slander and contravened ethics and law. He next told his competitor Rezaei that justice was pivotal to his economic programs and defending his government's economic programs and performance. He said that his critics were wrong to say that Iran's economy was in a bad shape. On the contrary, he said, existing data indicated that Iran had undergone serious growth during his term in office. Rezaei countered by saying that Iran's average annual rate of inflation is 25% and unemployment rate is 12%. He added that all the statistics indicated that the economy was not doing very well, and that if the current trend continued, the economic situation would become even worse. Rezaei then reiterated that he would pursue his goal of bringing about an economic revolution in Iran, on the basis of a federal economic model, which he has offered. He also told Ahmadinejad to refrain from making up numbers and falsifying when offering statistics. Ahmadinejad in turn defended his government, criticized Rezaei for not being familiar with Iran's bureaucratic system and lacking in administrative experience. The election headquarters of President Ahmadinejad announced yesterday that it had canceled a speech which the president was due to deliver at Tehran's prayer center, and it urged to protect the lives of the people because of the presence of a million-strong crowd of Tehranis at the venue. According to the semi-official Fars news agency, Ahmadinejad did not enter the prayer center, where thousands of his supporters had gathered to hear him, but he did not deliver his speech. The government spokesperson Golam Hossein Alham apologized on behalf of Ahmadinejad, saying that in an urge to avoid disrupting order, the president was unable to reach the podium and he apologizes. Meanwhile, last night, the supporters of Mir Hossein Mousavi turned out in huge numbers to form a human chain which they claimed ran the entire length of the capital's main north-south avenue, some 17 kilometers. Washington TV's report from Tehran also indicates that supporters of the four presidential candidates are pouring onto the streets in the evenings to express support for their respective candidates and argue and talk about the election and its outcome until late into the night. These stories and more at televisionwashington.com.